I wanted to make a short video in reference to the webinar that we're actually going to be doing on May the 1st, um, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I um, have a few questions as to what all we're going to actually be going over during this webinar. This webinar is not going to be um, a course as we have with some of the courses that you see here on, on the screen. This is actually going to be a webinar that's actually um, going to be teaching you how to actually become a wholesaler of um, in the tax lien property industry. Uh, some people are a little bit um, confused as to what we're doing that's different than what the majority of the people know about when it comes to tax liens. Most people that uh, is in the tax lien industry, they are in the industry of uh, tax lien certificates or the tax lien auctions. We're actually doing something quite different than that. Um, the tax lien uh, certificates is where you're actually investing in that tax lien certificate in return for the state to be able to pay you a particular amount of interest, whether it's 18% interest on your money, 24% on your money, or 32% interest on your money. So basically, you're not actually investing in that property. You're actually investing in the tax lien certificate, which gives you the right, um, once the redemption has, has passed, uh, to be able to file a foreclosure on those certificates to be able to hopefully get the property. But prior to getting that property, most states going to require that property to go back up for auction and they're going to put that uh, property up for auction to sell in order for them to be able to get you your interest back as well as your initial investment. So say for instance, you paid a, on someone taxes and you paid a $1,000 um, on that on their taxes, back taxes. And the interest on it in, that, in a particular state, which is like Florida, is 18%. So they're going to be shooting to get that money for you first. If their property doesn't sell in that auction, then what they're going to actually do then is give you the right to purchase to they're going to give you the right to actually pay the taxes on that property and actually turn that property over to you then you have the tax deed options uh, where you're going to actually go in they put this property up for auction where you're um, the person who the bidding will start at everything that that person owe on that property or that company owes on that property taxes whether it's 10 years taxes or whatever the bidding is going to start off at whatever they owe and it go forth like that. Then you have um, where you go and pay someone's taxes off. You pay the taxes and uh, and if it's a two year redemption period, you have, you have to wait two years before you can actually um, file for, to foreclose on that property to be able to get that property. What we're doing is OTCs. Um, don't many, many people know about the OTCs. Um, which is what we're going to actually be going over. The OTCs is basically over the counter. We're purchasing properties that the state owns directly. We ain't doing no bidding. We ain't waiting no six months on these. Our these are normally to us within 30 to 45 days from the time of purchase. So it's a little bit different than uh, what we're actually doing. But I'm going to go through here and show you some things that because Raven uh, actually has uh, a little bit more to offer her people that's coming through her um, when it comes to this. One of the, um, okay, let me see. They're gonna get, the people who goes through her is gonna get this course here, which is the business formation the right way. This course is about $699. Have quite a good bit of stuff up in here. Um, has some downloads in here as well. They're gonna get this, and they're also gonna get this particular course right here, which is the securing the bag with um, tax lien investing secrets. They're gonna get this course. Has quite a good, a good bit of information here. A bunch of downloads. Um, some of these downloads here. Is, uh, in a few videos as well some of these downloads here you ain't gonna get them nowhere else but uh, here with us I can guarantee you that but let me go in and show you uh, this is the advanced course this course here 
Uh, of course, here's sixteen hundred dollars. Sixteen, yeah, sixteen nine. I think. Let me go ahead and show you some of the things that we're gonna actually be going over in this webinar. Uh, this is actually the, uh, the curriculums of the course itself. But we're gonna be in this. <coughs> excuse me. We're gonna actually be in this area right here. I'm just going to show you a few things we're going to actually be going over in that course. This is the um, my um, over-the-counter list database. We actually, have a link here, here, and here. Here's where all of the over-the-counter tax liens are are at right in here on this particular course. Let's say we go to Alabama and let's go to say Mobile County. Let's see. As you see, Mobile has 178 pages that was updated as of January. I mean, as of uh, uh, this was dated on July the 23rd of last year, but this list updates every Friday. Um, a good bit of properties on this list. I'm going to go in here and look up one of these here. Paste. Let me take this two out. Mobile has a tricky way of uh, they doing their parcel numbers. Their parcel numbers is a little bit. I think I let me see. They kind of like try to hide how they actually doing these parcel numbers, but let me see how they. So okay, so want to take this two off here. And I think I think it's four of these. Nah. What is this parcel right here? Oh, that's it. Yeah. Okay. So this yeah this is the property right here. Okay. All right. Yeah. So. This is how I actually go and look up these properties um, to see what it is that I'm actually working with. This property right here is a little too narrow for me. I wouldn't be interested in this property right here at all, period. Let me go and find something that's uh see about this one here. This is one that I actually would probably be interested in, which is right here. See how many acres this is. 11 acres of land right here. So I'd probably be interested in something like this. If you go back over here, you're gonna look and see um, during the time that they had this tax bid back in the year of 2002, no, in the year 2000, it was at a um, $1,156.98. What, this, what most states are doing right now, they're actually trying to get when you when you're purchasing these properties and they give you the amount that they're going to actually take for these for this particular piece of property, they actually going off of a uh, appraised I mean the uh, assessed value for that property, which is much less than the market value. This particular piece of type of property right here that has an assessed value of one hundred and ten thousand dollars. Nine times out of ten, I put in for this. I'm probably going to get that property for about thirty thousand. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing people how to put in for this property, get the offer, put an offer in, be able to get a uh, kind of offer back from the state, and we're going to show them how to actually 
sell this property to be able to make a profit between that 30,000 and what this property may be worth uh, according to the market which I, I would say anywhere around about two hundred thousand dollars somewhere up in there so that's what we actually gonna be showing them in, the, in this particular course let me go back over here and show you someone else all these properties right here are properties that the state owned these properties these are no individuals like you may hear some people saying you know well they um, how can you put it they you gotta wait two years before you can do anything with the property no that's not what we're doing when we don't these properties right here are being sold to us um, for that particular amount we're getting our deed in 30 45 days it doesn't matter where it's at let me go back over here and show you uh, Okay, let me see. Let me let me show you. Let's go to land. Let's go. I got. They're gonna. We're gonna be giving them the land bank as well. So let me go to the land bank opportunities. A lot of people don't, is not familiar with land banks at all. Um, okay, let's go to Bill County. Making a Bill County. Let me just show you some some of the things that you're gonna be finding being able to find in this course and we're going to actually show you how to present yourself or your company to the state in order to be able to get these properties okay all these properties right here are current inventory that they have available right now this list right here update every Thursday all these properties right here are a thousand dollars they vacant residential lots every one of them Put this street address in here. So this is this particular lot right here. I will purchase this lot right here because I can put a, a um, two-story shipping container on here on this particular lot. The last sale price for this property was seventeen thousand. They want a thousand dollars for it right now. So these are properties that me, myself, as well as a lot of uh, the students that took the advanced course, as well as the basic course. These are the type of properties that we buy. What you know, what you hear about when it comes to taxes, or people saying, you know. Uh, what they know or what they do is totally different than what we're doing and they're not doing what we're doing and we got properties after properties after properties I'm talking about millions of properties we got in our database we got all the connections we got all the paperwork and all that that is required for actually getting these properties and that you know actually being able to do something with these properties let me go ahead and show you Baton Rouge for example okay this is land bank as well look at that 194,813 properties available right now the green that you're gonna see is land the, the orange that you see is gonna be structures Look at that. All these are opportunities. I'm talking about land and property everywhere. All over Baton Rouge, for example. You know, we go in different states. Being able to come in and actually come in and purchase properties like this. Ten cent on a dollar. Some people saying fifteen cent on a dollar. This assessed value is fifty one thousand. That tells me I probably gonna be able to get this property for probably about four thousand right here or less. Nine times out of ten. Let me 
go ahead and show you some another one. I'm not gonna keep you guys long. I just want to be able to show you what we're gonna be, you know, what's at store when it comes to this uh this type of stuff. We go to Albany County. They're a little bit different than a lot of um other companies. They up north look at all these these properties six hundred dollars asking price six hundred dollars eight thousand dollars for their own yeah six hundred dollars for this particular piece of property here's another one for six hundred dollars that's raw land this is twenty five thousand for that property it's sold already here's another lot six hundred dollars eight hundred dollars six hundred dollars six hundred dollars Here's one for five thousand dollars sales pending, so somebody's finna get ready to get that one. But anyway, just wanted to go and show you a little bit about what we're gonna be actually going over um, on May the first, three p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, let me show you something else too. These are tax uh, sale auctions. A lot of people. I tell you that they familiar with the arson. They know how to get to them. We got we got them all. Um, let me click on one here. They come here and they tell you the scheduled days that they're gonna have these auctions where you can actually go in and look at these properties. Um, you can you can get the list. Let's say for instance we went to Florida. You can get the list ahead of time to actually go and look at those properties um, here you can come here um, be able to do you know look at the calendar as you see on April the 20th they had it they had that particular auction there let's go and see what they're gonna have up in May so May the 18th they got 40, 40 items that's gonna actually be up for auction Opening bid, here are the opening bid amounts for those of you that's interested in the auctions. Uh, I do attend auctions a lot, uh, tax deed auctions. I, I attend them pretty good, pretty often. With the tax deed, you're gonna get your deed uh, once all the taxes are paid up on that. But that's just to give you a, a little breakdown of what you know we actually got going. Um, this particular course right here has a whole lot more than the basic course that we that we have um, which is gonna be what Raven is gonna be giving out to giving you guys she's she's she purchased a package so that she can actually provide you guys with these and she you you guys are not even paying for these packages right here you know she's throwing that in for you guys but um, this is the actual course itself. You're gonna still be able to come here. You're gonna find uh, different types of downloads that you need. Uh, this right here is knowing your uh, tax lien and tax deed state. It goes over every uh, property, I mean every state, letting you know what the state is, tax, what do they do, tax lien certificates, the interest that they pay a year. This is the redemption period. Uh, Arizona 16% they got a three-year redemption period uh, Colorado has a three-year redemption period but Florida has an 18% uh, interest uh, with a two-year uh, redemption period with a bid down interest rate whenever you get ready to sell that property to try to get the interest off of it Illinois is 36% shit I don't know no other safer investments that you can actually make than actually um, investing your money with the state of Illinois because they paying 36% interest on your money a year with a two to two and a half year uh, redemption period depending on the classification of the property whether or not it's going to be commercial or whether or not it's going to be homestead property so you think about it you got $10,000 sitting in the bank they may give you $300 interest a year on that $10,000 you put ten thousand dollars in tax lien certificates over there in, in Chicago, in Illinois. You finna bring home thirty six hundred dollars interest alone on your money. 
can't beat that. I mean, ain't no safer investment. They don't have a, nothing can, is, can, can, can compare to this. But anyway, that's all I wanted to go over was to you know give you a little bit of insight on what we actually doing and what's going to actually be going over uh, with this webinar. A lot of valuable information. If you're trying to get in a position to where you don't have, if you're in a position where you don't have a whole lot of money, or you know you're a single mom at home with your kids, you know, and you want to keep a better eye on your kids and work from home, I'm going to show you how to. I'm going to show you how to purchase this property without putting a dime out of your pocket. I'm going to show you how to get this property, sell this property on the open market, and be able to make you a nice return if you ain't greedy. Uh, to be able to move forward and, and this is something that you're going to be able to do every day you know uh, so anyway if you guys are thinking about joining the webinar get with Raven she's going to have the link for you she's the only one going to be able to offer that type of package uh, for that price and hope to see you on May the 1st 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time you guys have a good day